violating the peaceful space? Because it's amazing. <laughs> Now, uh, your, que I mean, your question is why? Throughout our duration at SGS, we've, uh, I've been, I've been uh, party to a lot of great discussions and ideas, and I think there's some things that I can take home both to my own space-bearing organizations, both uh, in my educational community, at schools, and as well as uh, with communities of space at large, to uh, try to integrate some of the plans that will lead to international cooperation amongst uh, all of its members. Accelerate. Well, that was the first question, by education. Okay. And you were saying... Hi, I'm Yola De Angelis, I'm uh, living in France. Well, the question, the first question was how do I accelerate our pace to space? Well, first of all, I try to increase awareness on the importance of space activities. In what area? Yeah. So what area of education do you want to work in? In the science, science, space science. Why is that? Is that the most important area? Because it's that's what I find I find interesting. Also working with uh, the Space Generation Advisory Council, and I also I'm also involved with the ICU France. So what I do in ICU France is I'm involved in space. Uh, I think by my dad who showed me the stars and uh, so as well the, those stars are far away and I thought well it should be close but uh, Did he inspire then, you? yeah he inspired me yeah. can you do the same to inspire other children? yes I hope so are you going to show them the stars? Uh, sorry? I wouldn't show them the stars I will show well I've shown already many children stars and hope to continue that for the rest of my you life you can ask a question or? you can go ahead okay so my name is Angela Johnson and um, what was I supposed to say? And uh, how, are, how will you accelerate the pace to space? I think with um, over 200 delegates here that if we continue um, with uh, passing on this information to others uh, about um, SGS and the goal and the mission and um, so I, I think first by continued communication to others. Hey, my name is Mark Bentley, uh, I am a PhD student from England and I would hope to accelerate the pace of space within my lifetime by breaking out of the habit of being narrow-minded and just trying to focus on my PhD and actually do some very groovy, spacey stuff. I'm blanking out. My name is Anne. become all too hard in the last year. And going to things like this are wonderful because it makes you appreciate that there's a whole lot more out there that you can do. Johnson, and I'm from um, LA. And how will I increase the space in, in space? Accelerate the pace to space. Okay. So um, first, by networking to continue the um, the friendships and so forth that I've made here at the um, the summit. Um, so networking is one. Communication is another. Um, by telling others about the website and about what, what we've already accomplished and what needs to still be accomplished and also by further involvement through um, volunteering and okay, so um, Well certainly from the working group that I've been in at the moment uh, the ideas that we've been focusing on have been intentionally chosen because they are things that people can go back and do. I mean one of them is to set up a, a directory of uh, sort of like a who's who, something which combines people with their skills and that is something that a couple of weeks, a bit of coding, mm -hmm. we can do. I don't see a red light. I do see a red light. My name is Jim Volpe and I was just asked the question, how do I uh, enhance the uh, pace in space myself? Um, one of my very big interests is space education, because I think that education can lead to motivating young people that will decide to go study scientific and technical fields, have an interest in that. Happen from New York. And I'm here as a moderator for the Space Generation Summit. I'm moderating the policy forum. I am accelerating our pace to space by I'm talking. On, I'm taking on is educating people about biofuels, how you can how you can grow in your fields fuel that can replace gasoline or diesel and burns clean and can change the power structures of the world and make sure that our foreign policy in this country is dictated by what's just and not by control of limited resources. We'll start working in the space field itself. 
and by having more people, well-educated people, I think that will lead to accelerate our space in space. I have my training it, in. We can identify parts of the world, especially arid parts of the world, that can grow new cash crops that can provide fuel for our cars. So that's a project that I'm taking on educating the community in the States about how they can take an action and we can actually burn these fuels today, you can buy them today in your diesel cars without modifying a thing. So I'm teaching people in New York about that and hopefully in some small way that will help us avoid future events like last it's September. not a very fast pace because of course educating people is a multiple year uh, endeavor. Uh, but I do think it's a very important one especially taking into account the situation as it is now with having old people primarily work and have all the knowledge at this moment and then a gap and hopefully a new generation of ourselves taking over. Or We're going supporting. to implement our recommendations coming out of this summit, first of all this next week, by catching as many of the leaders of the world space community as we can at this unique conference which happens only once every 10 years. It's a tremendous opportunity. And then we're going to stay in touch as a community and support each other in reaching the people that we need to reach. We've got a, a growing community. Every time we have an event like this, we add to the community of the space generation. And we just add more and more power, more and more reach, more and more insight, and really more and more inspiration. And so every year, every day, really, when we enroll new people, we get the ability to do more and more things. And we're already making a difference. And how do I implement that. them? I will implement them as part of SGAC. Um, in my function as coordinator, I try to motivate other people that will actually start doing work. I will also try to assist the web team that will provide the tools which will be needed for people to communicate online and contribute online. Um, and if there's time left, I actually try to chip in some of my thoughts and ideas myself. Okay. Hello. My name is um, Nchimunya Mwinga from Zambia, but uh, studying in Israel at the Ben Gurion University. Um, I'm very happy to be one of the Space Generation Summit uh, delegates, and um, I'm very hopeful that uh, I'll make good contributions back home in my country. Um, G'day, my name's James, I'm from Australia. And I think the best way to accelerate the pace of space is to really make it um, more accessible to the community. I think that what we need to do is basically take space, make it a tier one industry. We need to make it something that's at the next, next wave of innovation. So in the forefront of everybody's minds in terms of communications, in terms of remote sensing, spatial information, um, and who knows, tourism, sport maybe space might be able to be part of that. So that's how we're going to accelerate the pace of space. Specifically through work using um, with the, the uh, members of the University of Zambia Physics Department um, in collaboration with um, the South African um, space authorities like at the University of Cape Town. And I know that kind of work is going on and um, hopefully we be working together with uh, other members, um, other delegates from Africa, um, not necessarily here, um, through the Africa Space Science Network, which from which I belong. In terms of the, uh, implementing the outcomes of the SGS, uh, I think that we're already well on the way through the networks that we've established, through the people that we have here that have all been learning an amazing amount over the, the last two days. And perhaps the best part about it is that we are becoming, as young people, we're becoming more coordinated, more organized. We're getting more memory. Every, from one conference to another, we're slowly learning more and more and not repeating mistakes and learning from our successes. And I think that's the best thing that comes out of the SGS. Um, 